problem solving. Trying to. Yeah, the, yeah. You get a live stream now, but it's not the link. I was, I was checking on the way yeah. in because my family's all the way out of town. Yeah, right? so I just put it on Twitter, the live stream, and there's another one. That one failed. Yeah, that one failed, so we're on this one now. So, the. Yeah, I got, I got a, uh, I got a text class. Our number is going up, so people are uh, seven now. Okay, cool. Thank <laughs> you. 
choose. Uh, and it's a piece that doesn't necessarily have to be the same difficulty level as your required piece. Um, lots of times what I do is I pick a required piece that is right on par with where I think we should be, and then my select piece, I try to make it just a little bit harder. Um, and so that's what I've done in this piece. So this piece is a, a brand new piece that just came out this year called Crowns of Glory. And it truly is, um, could be played by a like less achieving high school band, a, a class C high school band, this would be a great piece of music for them to play. So I'm really pushing and challenging this band with this piece. There's uh, several solos throughout the piece. Um, we have a couple of clarinet solos, so Lexi Gibbons and, um, and Brooke Anderson are playing my clarinet solos. And then who's doing the flute solo? Claire, is it Claire Rogers who's doing the flute solo? Okay, any other solos that I've seen in this? Okay. So we do some woodwind solos and um, just a very overall challenging piece um, that I think is actually really beautiful. You'll hear that there's a lot of involved percussion in this. Um, percussionists, each of the percussionists, if you keep your eye on them, play multiple instruments in it. So it's really a challenge for them. So here is Crowns of Glory.
Each year, I like to choose an outstanding member from the seventh grade band and an outstanding, outstanding member from the eighth grade band. So, this year, uh, I'll say a little bit about each person here. This year, the seventh grade member is someone who has done an absolutely outstanding job participating in solo and ensemble. Always is revival, knows their parts, practices a lot, uh, very obviously, and is also incredibly talented and actually uh, helped us out with the high school marching band this year. And the winner is Clark Lemons. Thank <laughs> you. 
by virtual context, we did not cite it against here. So this is just a combination of the three judges' ratings, and it's basically majority polls. Okay, so they have to get at least two superior ratings to get a superior rating overall. Okay, so after we do our first piece, we'll review our first rating and then we'll kind of go forward from there. So the first piece we're going to play for you um, is our march. Okay, so we always will start our contest performance with a march. And the march I picked this year was uh, just a perfect fit for this group. My low grass section is just beastly. And this thing is very amazing. So um, I had to pick something great for them. So we're going to do a march called the Trombone King featuring our low grass section. Incredibly proud. We 
because um, I opted to take our high school band to class A this year. Um, this is a huge accomplishment. This is not something that happens for schools our size. Okay, I just want to reiterate that um, this is something really special. And I'm just I'm so excited that, that these students in front of you have risen to the occasion to even attempt to do this, uh, let alone at the level that they're playing. Um, so from the class A required list, I chose a piece called Corral Variants. Um, and this is a really beautiful piece. Uh, it's based on a corral from the Renaissance period, actually, um, from the 1640s. And um, J.S. Bach was a very important composer during uh, the Baroque period. And there's actually a little uh, homage to Bach in here as well, with lots of like fast wood windows that go here, which were supposed to be like the flourishes that he would write into his organ music. So, um, I'm, I love this piece so much. I'm so happy that we decided to do this. I think you're going to really love it. It's called For Our Variance. <laughs> Thank you. 
he is retired from Grove City High School, and Grove City has an, an internationally recognized band program um, over in the Columbus area, Grove City, Ohio. Um, they are absolutely incredible. Mr. Edge has been the Ohio Teacher of the Year. Um, he is a extremely respected judge in LBA, and um, I'm like honored that we had him judge us, especially doing this in class. So we're going to read you our final rating here. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you so much everybody. We're going to get on to our awards here. And we're going to start with our, our year awards. So our first year concert band members are going to receive a certificate. Uh, just so we can move through this kind of quickly, I'm going to read the names off and have the students come up and please hold your applause until everyone from that group is up and then we'll applaud for everyone at the same time. So these are our first year high school concert band members. Jalen Hackett, Caitlin Lips, Peyton Delman, Tara Couch, Isabella Harlemann, Katie Anden, and Trent Kisaw. Dan Albright, 
Brittany Ashwell, Andrea Garrison, Elijah Judy, Eliza Smith, Christian Snyder, and Steve Wright. Her favorite 
Residential was under construction, and her plans for next year are to go to college for accounting. Carter and Charlie, a trumpet trio with Josie Carter and Katie, 
and a prayer night trio with Aiden, Chloe, and Claire. Let me say, I would run a marathon, and I think I'm more tired right now than I'm going to finish my marathon. <laughs> it's been a long 
support of our band program and the music education. And I'm looking forward to another amazing year next year. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful summer. Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you. 